Okay, here's what it looks like on the ground here. Uh, where the excavator is sitting is about where I'm going to make an angle cut. So it's probably hard to see elevations, but this is the runoff, okay? And it runs all the way over here to my left and basically goes around the pond into the woods. And here's the pond, which is significantly higher than where that thing is running. So I need to balance the difference between catching as much runoff as I can and minim minimizing how much I got to cut in this farm field here. So I'm looking at somewhere right around here. I'm going to build a little mini dam and I'm going to make a channel all the way through. That excavator sitting on a little hump, so I just have to go through that hump. And once I clear that hump, it'll just naturally find its way into the old pond. Another instance where I wish I had a laser, um, but I don't. So I'll eyeball it, maybe test it with a little water and see if we can get more volume here to fill these ponds up here before spring. Okay, here's a look from the air. You could see the existing trench up above the excavator. That's the one I'm going to tie into and I'm going to run it down to here where you see the drone box. That's the country boy redneck marker of where the bottom of the ditch is going to be. So uh, I'll catch all this water from the top of that hillside all the way down. So here's a look from the top here. You see that picks up some good water volume because it's got a pretty good cut made in the field there. But uh, right here where the excavator is, that's where I'm going to start the cut, pile up a dam, and this line right here where the uh, where my box is for the drone, that's my line. That is uh, the shallowest pitch all the way over this way, but as soon as it topples that little little rise there, then it'll go into the pond. So this is a look of the beginning where I'm starting at. Okay, there you can see my drone box. That's my unofficial marker.
Okay, in theory, this uh, this bird flies exactly level, which is where I have it hovering right now. And I think there's just a tiny hump in this uh, in this ditch, but it actually looks pretty good. So I'll just clean it up here just a little bit more and uh, finish this thing up. I'll test it with water and we'll see how she goes. All right, now I'm just gonna pack this dam just a little bit here. Where it actually dams it up in the ditch just so it's got a little bit of compaction. that water is coming down somewhat fast it hits this thing and don't blow through it Okay, uh, phase one is done. It didn't take very long at all. I'm gonna go get some water, <clears throat> test it out. But my prediction is right up there at the top, it's gonna pool up a little. It's just a smidge lower there, but it still should make it, um, with the height of this dam, it should still make it down the channel. So if you're placing your bet, place it right now and I'm gonna go get some water. Here's the good news if I get it to flow right. Here's the next cut over, okay? This all comes in the pond. But with all these soybean stalks here, you see how it's dammed up there? It slows the water down here so it's not taking any erosion. And in addition to that, we got the weed and the tree layer here. So that new cut right there will be the same thing. It'll have all of this cushion of uh, soybean stalk to slow it down and then even more weed and uh, dirt or uh, bushes and trees here to slow it down even more so it should not be an erosion problem and of course I use the ditch bucket so the the path is smooth all the way down there's a long distance look across the pond looking at it from here I think we'll be just fine Plenty of uh, fall coming down that ditch. All right, I got the tank filling up. It's only gonna take about 45 seconds, give or take, maybe a minute, minute and a half tops. I just powered up the pump. And then we're gonna go over and test the ditch. Okay, I should have timed it, man, but geez, that was quick. Now I think I'll run it in the uh, duck pond here for a little while. It needs a few more inches after my last dig in there. Well, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I should have checked the air and tires. I did not, so this one popped off of the rim because they have slow leaks in them. Dang it, man, it's always something. But here's the water running like a trickle because there's debris in there so I might as well go in take a nap have lunch check back here later all right well the water started my prediction we'll get just a little bit of pooling in this area until it rises enough to clear that hump right there although the dam should be high enough and then hopefully we run downhill from there. We'll see. 
All right, now let's see the truth here on the ditch. There ain't a whole lot of water that drained out yet, so I might have to leave it overnight. But let's take a look here. You'll see it here when I do. There's no water coming out of the bottom. And that's not totally cool, but there, like I said, there ain't much out. Wait for it, wait for it. Bam! Look at here, folks. We got water with an eyeball. No laser, no level, no nothing. Just capper's eyeball. Good deal. That tells me the ditch is going to work. And actually, it didn't even pool up nearly as much as I thought it would in here. Maybe I'm starting to get good at this stuff a little bit. I mean, there's a little bit of pooling right here and right here, but geez, if you look at the size of the dam, it could pool up two feet higher and still go down the ditch. But this is perfect. This is perfect. And once it gets another 10, 12 feet or so, then it's done. It's a done deal. Because then it really drops off at the end of the ditch here. So stay tuned on the first rain. I'll be coming out and checking this one also. Nice. I still have that first picture of you. I look at every now and then. Reminds me of how I felt that day. Want to feel that again and again. You can sense pure life in the air. You can feel real life in your stead. Want to know you're here with me. Want to feel you breathing with me. And I never thought you'd make it here into my world. You breathe life back into me. be